Yo, what is going on guys? Bexio back and today we've got a brand new video. This time talking about Phase K, or should we just call him K now? And uh seeing his response to his Save the Kids token allegations of being a scam, a rug pull, a pump and dump, whatever you want to call it. He's literally been exposed and I mean, we'll see his uh video. We're going to react to it here. Because it is only two minutes long, so, I mean, what a response. But, let's see what he's got to say, and uh, see how he reacts to these allegations against him. I know I haven't posted in a while, and there is so much that I want to say about what's happened in the past month, but because of legal reasons, all I'm allowed to say right now is this. Please, please do not believe what you're hearing online all of these people making videos think that they know the truth and that they know who's responsible when they just don't so starting it right <laughs> off you know legal reasons he can't say what he's got to say there's legal reasons and all the people making videos they don't know what they're talking about now i can't talk about people you know the majority of people who knows but what basically everyone's basing any of their videos off of and things that I've based mine off of is CoffeeZilla and his video exposing all of this stuff. The, what is it, like a 30 minute long video. It's very in depth. He goes through what he did. He goes through how he got to the wallet address, all of this stuff. And he goes through Kay's wallet address. He shows everyone how he sold Save the kids token, coin, whatever you want to call it. He sold it as soon as it went live. How he sold multiple other projects. As soon as they went live, he dumped them. Uh, and it's just, I mean, to be able to say, like, don't believe people. But you, you, the, the biggest thing is saying, don't believe people. But trust me, I just can't tell you because of legal reasons. So, I mean, where's your defense, really? Is the truth, all right? I lost money on Save the Kids token, but what actually upsets me the most is that anybody else was hurt. So this just can't be true. Like we can see his wallet address. Everyone can see when he sold, when he got the coins, when he sold them and put together how much money he made. Uh, and I mean, in CoffeeZilla's video, he did that. He reached out to someone. They ran through the numbers and, and decided on, I think it was on all of these like coins that he pumped and dumped. It was, he made like forty thousand dollars, which is you know crazy to even think that you risk your reputation and you scam people who brought you to where you are for forty grand. That is nothing. What the what these people are making? You're in Phase Clan. You got it good. You are making money, but you're not happy with that. You want to take more money from your fans. It's just like, come on, like playing the victim here, the fake crying and I'm so sorry, guys, I lost money too. Like, you're not tricking anyone. You're not tricking anyone. The blockchain's there. Your wallet has been brought out. It's been thoroughly went through by CoffeeZilla. I'm going to continue saying his name because it's his video, his breaking story, and he put in a ton of work into figuring this all this stuff out. And... He didn't go after the other people as much as he went after K because of what he could find on K and not be able to really track down on the others. And what you can find on him is every single coin that he's tweeted about, promoted, and got for basically either free or for the promotion or however he got it, he sold and dumped it as soon as he could. He didn't hold it. He, he doesn't hold Save the Kids. It, it, he has four tokens or something like that. Like he's not holding these coins. He's not, he's not losing money because he sold them all. He dumped them on all of his followers. So we've uncovered significant evidence, which confirms that a dishonest person abused his trust with me to scam everybody. This person gained my trust and the trust of my friends while still encouraging us to be the public faces of his scheme. He then abused that trust to go and alter the code right before launch, resulting in six figure profits for him and then leaving the rest of us to be blamed. That doesn't really make sense uh, saying someone else altered the code, making six figures and blaming us. Can you believe that? But you can look at his wallet and see that he sold all of his coins with the new code. 
<laughs> in the parameters of the new code. If he didn't know that the code was altered, how would he have sold his coins in the five minute span instead of the five day span? It's like, you know, like you can't, you just can't say this. Like, People might believe it in the short term because his video just came out, but as soon as people start debunking this and making videos and, and going back to his wallet, which is public info on the blockchain, everything is shown there, and you sold all of your coins, how are people supposed to believe you when you can go through your wallet and see that you sold on the new code parameters, the new five minute sales instead of or it would like take five minutes to sell everything whereas it was supposed to take five days to sell everything but then it got switched last second but you still took advantage of that by selling everything instantly like it just doesn't make sense it doesn't add up it really seems like you're just playing the victim trying to get whatever reputation you have left before your career just burns down because of your scamming all of your followers Lawyers who are dealing with this manipulation and working with authorities to make sure he pays for what he's done and I want to help as much as I can and right now the most powerful thing I have right now is my connection to you guys. You will never know how much I appreciate all of your support and one way I can pay that forward is by making sure that this con man gets the justice that he deserves. We're conducting a very thorough, independent and aggressive investigation to find out exactly what happened and when and to do that most effectively, I need your help. If you lost any money on Save the Kids Token, please tell us your story on this email below so we can share it with our investigators. All right, this part, it seems like to me kind of a reach to show like we're trying to help do this investigation i'm trying to make things right but why does it matter like getting people's stories and stuff through a, through an email you can't verify it you can't say that they're telling the truth you can't say i mean unless they maybe provide their wallet details of how much they had and when they got it and still even at that you can use anyone's wallet so you can still lie there's no names attached to the wallet so this just seems like a way to try and manipulate people to say see we're trying to help i'm trying to help we're trying to bring justice to this con artist and is he talking about himself so it's just it's really weird like it's a weird tactic seeing this like you know send me an email with your story like how is that like legally binding? You can lie, you can't verify it, you can use someone else's wallet address, say it's yours, and then you get into this big like just weird space. So I don't know how that helps legally when you're saying you're taking a legal stance and that's why you can't talk about anything. By the authorities with all the evidence they need to take the proper action and with your help, we can hold him accountable and make sure he's never able to do this sort of thing again. Thank you. All right, and that's the end of the video right there. Honestly, I don't I don't believe like any of it to be honest. I think he's trying to play the victim card, try to get his reputation, whatever's left and try and save it. It just seems like he is going all out, fake crying. It's so emotional. I lost money too even though my wallet's been exposed and everyone sees that I sold. It's just like, come on. Come on, why are you doing this? Why are you trying to play the victim? It just doesn't make any sense. Like, you've been exposed, you got kicked from FaZe. If you truly didn't do anything wrong, if you went to FaZe and said, I didn't do anything wrong, this person that we know is a con artist, he's the one who did everything wrong, we're getting lawyered up, we're going after him. FaZe, why would they drop you like that? Like, why would they completely cut ties with you, get rid of you, and not support you if you came to them as an OG member? Someone who's been with FaZe for a long time. If you came to them and said, I'm being taken advantage of, somebody is trying to make money off of me being the face of some coin. Why wouldn't they help you do that? I feel like FaZe is an organization that really tries to help their members they don't just cut ties and say you know we're not dealing with that publicity I mean, they've had in the past weird like bad stories with players and stuff and they don't just cut ties and get rid of them if they know 
that those that certain person didn't do anything really wrong. So that's a big red flag. I just think playing the victim is the wrong choice here. It really seems like he is just trying to get his reputation, whatever's left of it, and trying to take off with that. So that's my two cents. Just like a reaction to this. No digging into all of the details and things and seeing how it's all going. Honestly, I don't think it looks good for him. And even going through, I mean, you can see the like to dislikes, a good ratio. I think short term, people are going to think that, you know, oh my God, he's just, he's got into a bad situation and he's trying to play it off like that. But, you know, the comments here, email me so his defense team can prepare. He waited two weeks to hear him try and talk his way out of this. I completely agree. I just think that, you know, it's it doesn't look good for him at all. Him coming on here for what? Yeah, two weeks ago? This was a big deal. Two weeks ago, this uh, was the big story. And to come on here and be crying, I mean, two, you had two weeks to address this. And you came on, made sure you brought the fake tears, manipulate your guys. We're going legally, so I can't talk about it. And then email me your stories. It's just, all of it seems like there's just manipulation here, which he's kind of good at. So. Who knows? But as always, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I think Kay is very guilty about everything he's been doing. I think it's wrong. And I don't think FaZe would just cut ties with an OG member over rumors of something going wrong. So we'll see how it all plays out from here. And as always, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. See you guys in my next video.